welcome back. So a rule tile is going to adjust itself as you draw, making it easier to make levels and stuff like that. I have two other helpful videos. One of them is how to set up a tile map, like the sprites for the rule tile, and then dealing with a tile palette and a grid. Hopefully you watched the previous video, but if you haven't, Unity by default will only have tile stuff if you if you selected a 2D mode. So you have to go to uh, Package Manager, and in Package Manager, you're gonna have to download, you can go to Unity Registry, you're gonna have to download the 2D uh, tile map editor and 2D tile map extra. So what you wanna do is export a PNG of the art that you made for this rule tile. By the way, down here, I see uh, developers often forget, you can drag this up if you don't see your image. If you right click and you go to show in Explorer, it'll show you your file in a folder. I'm just doing this real quick so that I can uh, zoom in on this thing and show you how it's set up. Basically, we got the corners and we got the inner corners and these are just extra variations for that middle piece. And that's the tile we're gonna make. It's a simple tile, but it's a good one. Now my grid is 16 by 16. So you're gonna wanna change your pixels per unit. And then we're gonna slice this up. So we're gonna go to multiple. This is gonna be a background thing, so it doesn't need to generate a physics shape. Because it's pixel art, we're gonna change the mode to point. Bilinear kind of makes it blurry like a JPEG. It's good for compression, it's not good for pixel art. Then click the sprite editor, and here we are. Our gorgeous, wait, why is there, hmm, that doesn't look right. Um, oh, the compression, I'm gonna go to none, is that some of the colors were off. For pixel art, I don't even like to compress it because it's already a tiny file size and I don't want it to mess up the colors. Okay, so now here we're gonna slice it and we're gonna do the grid either you can do either by uh, cell size or cell count cell size in this case is easier because i know it's 16 by 16 and look at this the way i exported it from a sprite was already set up so that it would perfectly work with uh unity in this kind of way so i'm going to hit slice and then i'm going to hit apply and now one of the things that a lot of people don't do but i think you should is you should name your tiles so this right here i'm calling it top grass because <laughs> whatever but this is gonna be the um, top left, so I'm gonna do TL. And then this one is gonna be the top tile, so I'm just gonna do T. And then for this right one, uh, you could guess, I'm gonna do TR. If you click this drop down, boom, we see all the tiles here. Okay, finally we're gonna do it. We're gonna go to Assets, Create, 2D, tiles rule tile and we made it we made our rule tile you see right here it needs a name over here this image up here this is kind of like the default icon for it if i open up um the tile palette here i already made one and here these this is this is not a rule tile these are just sprites and you, you have to draw them individually um, I was doing that in the previous episode, but here you can see this only looks like one block, but when I draw with it, you see it has all the um, art in it. This icon here, that's what this thing up here uh, represents. And so here's where we can click select and then pick our, and then pick our sprite. Uh, but what's actually easier is if you just go to the sprite itself, uh, where was it? But because we named these, it actually it's kind of easy for me to just take this and drag it in here. Oh, that's not a good picture. That one, no. Uh, top grass, this one. That one, I like that one. All right. And then the, then the default collider, because this is a background, in another video, I'll show you what grid and sprite do. But because this is a background, I'm going to click none because you're not actually going to be able to run on this uh, background tile. When I was a noob, I would click plus here and drag every single tile individually from this entire list over here. But I'm going to show you the pro shortcut. The pro shortcut is right here. It says drag sprite. You can take the whole thing and drag it in and boom. Then you have the sprites in here. And guess what? If you, you see these two little dots, you can rearrange this if you need to rearrange it. Now we get to the hard part. And the hard part is going to be setting the rules. Oops, oh my God. The hard part is gonna be setting the rules for this tile, these boxes here. By the way, you should keep your project kind of organized. I created the rule tile here, but it's actually in the sprites folder. I had created a folder called palette tiles, 
And so try to keep organized and, and separate your sprites and your tiles or else things will get pretty messy and hard to find. So a quick pro tip, if you delete a rule tile, it'll create this pink box that, which means that like the asset is missing. So the easiest way to make sure you get those rules correct is take that tile, a rule tile that you made and drag it into the palette while you have the tile, pile, tile, a tile palette window open. And I'm gonna drag it here next to this one. I'm gonna leave a little gap there so it's easier to click. And now I created a the the tile here, the rule tile uh, object or whatever, right? And if I go to draw with it um, over here in the sky or whatever, you can see it's always the same tile, right? And that's pretty whack. But if I draw a um, like a three by three, now when we update the rule tile, I think that it's going to, wait, let's draw, uh, draw a three by three. And then also what you wanna draw is the, like we wanna see if the inside is gonna look good. So then what we do is um, something like this. Actually, let me make it a little bit bigger for testing like that. And then we'll see what the inner tiles look like as well. Um, I don't think we need to draw anymore, so I'm gonna close the tile palette. And now for the rules, baby. For the collider, I set it to none, and I don't know why it says sprite here. Just make sure that these are also um, set to none. Holding shift and highlighting them all does not work. That would be that would be too convenient. So basically, when you click, it'll make an arrow, and you can see it did update. All right, it'll create an arrow, and then if you click again, it'll create an X. And the arrow means you want to continue the pattern. The X means you don't. So you see how this is the top left. We want to. We want other tiles to connect to the to the right of it, and we want other tiles to connect to the bottom of it. And you see how this is the middle piece. We want tiles to the left of it to connect to the right of it and to the bottom of it. And then basically, I'm just gonna. This one's the left side, so the left side is gonna have a tile that can connect to the top, to the bottom, and to the right. The center piece can have a tile that connects from any angle. That one's the right side. That's gonna have tiles that connect connect to the top, left, and bottom, bottom corner. Basically, imagine like I'm imagine if you're kind of like drawing that corner. You see how like it looks like I drew the corner and this center piece. That's this tile. This like gray circle. That's this this thing here. And now for the inner ones, I think we do the opposite where um, it's connecting uh, this way. And then for this one, which is the center piece, also it's gonna connect every way oh actually we're gonna want to remove this one i'll um not like that we're gonna want to remove this one i'll show you how to add the variations so that's a variation and this is a variation and what we want to add the variation to is this centerpiece right and so you see how it says the output is single we're gonna do random so it's randomly gonna pick a um actually i'll show that to you guys later first let's uh let's look at the rule tiles so it looks like it's not perfectly set up, right? It kind of worked, but it also didn't. So we also have to click, do um, create X's. And X's are where, where you cannot connect to that tile. And now you can see it is fixing it and it's starting to look better. So for the inner one, what you wanna do is put an X here where the hole's gonna be. Here's the hole, there's the hole, and there's the hole and everywhere else oops everywhere else it can connect so we got it working and it's working fine but you can see here it's messed up it's not picking the corner it's picking the center piece so the location of this is also its priority and so if i put this down here and make it lower priority look at that it fixed you see that and so the order of these tiles does matter because that's kind of like the hierarchy, the priority of what tile is going to get selected. And so you can see that this middle here is, is uh, green and it has no texture. And over here, it's also green and, and it has no texture. But if we want to add some uh, variety, uh, so for example, um, let me open up um, the 2D tile palette for this. And now we can go ahead and click this, click the brush. 
I'm on the ground layer. Make sure you're always on the right layer. I should not be on the ground layer. I should have been on like a background layer. But um, anyway, so I'm gonna close this in. You can see it, it's working perfectly fine. This is awesome, it's working great. And uh, the reason why I created this big block here is to show you the next thing, which is random tiles. Okay, so to create variation, we wanna create variation for this center tile. If you click it here, if you're like not sure what tile that is because it doesn't show the name here, it should, it doesn't though. If you click it, you can see it's highlighting the name of the tile. So I know, okay, yeah, this one's the center one because I have C and I want C2 and C3. Those were the variations for the center. So for output, you uh, you can create animations here, which is pretty cool, but we're, we're gonna click random. So we're gonna have it randomly uh, pick. And this this was uh, one. It was one, that's what one looks like, but you want, uh, we have um, uh, three variations. So I'm gonna click three. The, there's spaces here because we didn't um, put anything here. So uh, you can drag this in here and now that created that variation and you can drag that one there or you can click the, I call it the target icon. And here you can pick a sprite, but honestly that's kind of harder, which is why I was suggesting naming these is because you might need to be dragging them like I'm right now. And so we have C, C2 and C3. And you can see here it randomly selected those tiles. For my floor sprite, how I set it up is I have multiple side tiles, multiple top tiles, multiple bottom tiles, so I can shuffle these and create variations for all the sides, not just the center. Here's another one I did, and you can see I created a lot more of those central variations, so this one will look better. To create another tile just like this, you can click on it and then hit Control D. I know, I know Control D seems like you're gonna delete it, uh, but you know, you need decided that's the shortcut for duplicate. You have the rules already set, but you, but you gotta update all the sprites. All right, so I replaced all the sprites, and now I'm gonna go to Window 2D Tile Palette, and um, to have this rule tile be a brush in the tile palette, we take that tile, Bush 1 rule, and you drag it in and now I just created another one right here and then I can click this click the brush remember you got to pick the right layer and now we can uh, now we can check this one out and this one is pretty good I like this one this one came out great even if you have different tile maps, if you draw them on the same layer, we're on the ground uh, layer here, they're going to push each other. Look, did you see that? <laughs> they, they're not, they're not uh, connecting or stacking. Here, if I put the Z index to one, now if I'm on that same layer, look, it's not connecting to that, that um, uh, uh, tile map, it's creating a new one. It's kind of hard to tell, so I'm gonna go over here Oh, it's behind. Why is one behind? Oh, it now it went on top. Now Unity updated it. Yeah, Unity is finicky. It, it updated the layers after I got it to refresh. So it was drawing it underneath, but it's just because it didn't refresh the way it was rendered. All right. The tricky part now is trying to erase all this you can i'm gonna create a giant eraser but you can only erase stuff on the same layer that your z position is on so i need to go to like all the different layers that i use so be careful with using too many layers all right the game i'm working on is going to be a platformer rpg i'm a struggling indie game dev so i'm gonna need to kickstart this project so please follow the project there's a link in the description if you guys are new to the channel please subscribe He'll make my babies happy. I hope you're making progress on your project. I have some free art assets on itch that might help you out, but I'll see you next week. A dev life. Please.